Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Okay, guys, this is a follow up on an exchange I recently, mashallah, had with a very, mashallah, uh, 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 beloved and respected, mashallah, Pirbai, um, who mentioned um, an article that was posted in um, Norway concerning the celestial body possibly being uh, Jupiter. Um, uh, so, um, uh, and again, what we have been witnessing in the skies are these um, planetary uh, bodies, celestial bodies, um, which seem to be um, at odds with what the planetary alignment uh, within our orbit is at the time. Now, this is a very interesting upload. You'll see the date and the timestamp, 26th uh, uh, of October uh, at... Um, four in the morning and this is from NASA's HD1 stereo satellite you'll see an anomaly on the right hand side the the circle with the white ring around it that's our Sun by the way the other disc around it is a disc to cover the glare of the Sun and then what comes out of the sides are CMEs the coronal mass ejections from the Sun what you see behind the Sun on the right hand side is a um, planetary um, uh, object which isn't doesn't isn't part of our solar system and that's been proven in a second you'll see it seems to be orbiting as I understand it its own primary star which is either behind our Sun at the moment or next to it yeah we have been monitoring this planetary object that we've seen on the SOHO space telescope we started monitoring this object orbiting the sun in a very fast orbit, a very sharp orbit around the back side of the sun. Now understand it's going in a retrograde orbit, right? So we are going anti-clockwise around the sun. And so are all the planetary bodies on, in our solar system, almost, going anti-clockwise. Whereas this particular binary binary system and its uh, celestial bodies that's orbiting it, um, which is a, another dwarf star, two gas giants, and give or take uh, some uh, satellites, moons, and asteroids and comets, they seem to be going in a retrograde orbit, so a clockwise orbit, and a very fast orbit. Some of them have a very, very fast orbit. Hence why we only capture it in our skies and by researchers, even researchers who are studying this phenomena are only catching it every so often as it's going past our field of vision uh, during its retrograde orbit. So it doesn't remain stationary, by the way. None of the celestial bodies do. And imagine the speed's compounded because we have our own orbit and it's going in the opposite direction in its orbit, or they are, rather since the 25th of October. As you can clearly see in the time stamp in the lower left-hand corner, make a note of that. This object is coming from the right side of the screen and looping at a very, very sharp angle down behind the sun and it comes out on the other side. We checked the orbit with uh, solar scope, space scope, whatever you want to call it. We ran the model and it is not Mars, Mercury, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn, Earth. It's none of our known planets, folks. So I don't care what the debunkers have to say. This object is not any of the known planets that are in our solar system. What you are about to see is absolutely incredible. You are going to see how this object reacts with the sun and how the sun reacts with this object. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that this is Nibiru, but there is something very odd about this object, the speed of this object, and where it's at. And it takes a very, very sharp turn.
turn around the back side of the sun. The only thing I can tell you guys is certainly it's not a star. That is a, a it's either a gas giant, a planet, or some other celestial body, but it's not a star. And why is when we saw it just going past right now at around about one o'clock to the sun, it almost changed from a bright object to a darker object. In other words, its surface is being illuminated. It's borrowing light from another star, which would be our sun or its primary star, one or the other. And as it's going through the back in a certain direction, it's being occluded. The uh, the light that it's borrowing from is being occluded. So there's a very big possibility there's another celestial body uh, uh, behind the sun, which is occluding the sun's light, which that particular object that we're looking at to the left right now was being illuminated by once it was at one o'clock. And as it was going in, you could see it. Here you go, let's just reverse it so that all of us can see it. Right, you see it coming the in. The speed of this no. object. Now, and where what? it's at. There you go. Do you see? Now only you can see half a crescent, and the other part is dark. So it's it's it, this celestial body isn't a star. It's a planet, and um, uh, it's boring light from the. Well, if it was boring light from the sun, once it was in this trajectory, then the sun's light was basically catching it. Now. There's every reason to believe that there's some other object here behind the sun which is blocking the light from our sun if it is our sun that was actually illuminate, illuminating it. Or even perhaps our sun and the, uh, the primary star which is next to our sun, both of them are being occluded by another giant uh, planet which is then preventing this side of this particular planet being illuminated. As it's going in its orbit, and then as it gets out of the um, direction of this particular uh, celestial body that we can't see, and that's uh, occluding the um, uh, illumination or the light of the sun and its star. When it comes over here, it's it's it, it becomes illuminated again. So no, it's it's certainly not a star. That, and it takes a very very sharp. Turn there around go, the back the side of the sun, again. almost like an airplane. We're going to zoom in here because I want you to see this up close. I want you to see it as close as you possibly can. Now it's going to come around the sun. So this is towards the end of the footage. Here we begin. Watch, watch the reaction of the sun. That coronal discharge was... So what that basically tells us is this has a very huge magnetic influence. It possibly could be that the, the planet um, touted as um, Planet X, Planet 9, Planet Nibiru, the one that recently uh, seemed to be the culprit for making uh, the Earth lose its magnetic um, field and uh, uh, magnetic um, shield. Uh, I've uploaded that uh, video on the channel uh, just a week ago. A week and a half ago, so I certainly recommend you watch that. This particular celestial body seems to have that sort of a magnetic influence. It seems there's three celestial bodies that form part of this binary binary system that have that sort of influence. That's this planet nine, planet X, Nibiru, which is one uh, uh, planet. Uh, it seems to have a very dense nickel and iron core and a huge magnetic field. According to research, it's 20 times more than that of uh, what we have here on planet Earth. Then the brown dwarf star could potentially do that, simply because uh, uh, by virtue of being a star uh, and its composition. And the primary star, which is a neutron stroke proton star, a very bright star, and that's like uh, the, um, uh, the strongest uh, in terms of its gravitational and magnetic influence of all, all the celestial bodies as part of this binary binary system. Watch how this object banks left around the back side of the sun and continues in this banking motion as it comes back out. And then it almost levels out. Here it comes again. This is just looped footage, folks. Look at this object. It's not.
not a star. I mean, we've confirmed that. Stars don't orbit our sun like this. Planets do. So, we've been on this little... Anyway, Jazakallah khairu wa sunu jazakallah for your time. It's an interesting upload. I thought you might benefit from it. By all means, uh, go to Soho and uh, verify the timestamp and this footage for yourselves. Um, again, you know, there's a lot of anomalies happening in our solar system. Jazakallah khairu wa sunu jazakallah for your time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.